Hi, I'm John with Off Grid and Mobile Solar, and today I'm going to teach you how to make an MC4 connector. So I've been told that I don't smile enough in my videos, and uh, I guess I probably don't because I just don't really think about it, but it's probably a good thing that if I do, because I think uh, I've had some friends tell me that I kind of have the resting bitch face. And I, that's, that's bad. I don't want to have that. And I think I more have resting indifference face, but uh, you know, because it is a bitch face when you're a guy, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, you're going to see me smiling more or, or making the attempt anyway. I, I just, I don't want to have that really scary, like kind of smile, but we'll see how it goes. So here are the tools that you need for making an MC4 connector. Wire cutters, a good set of wire strippers. I prefer this type because it's just easier to work with. Some 10 gauge PV wire. Obviously this is short for the demonstration. At least one MC4 wrench. These usually come in a kit. MC4 crimp connector. MC4 connectors, both male and female. And the metal MC4 terminal connectors. The first step in making an MC4 connector is to strip the wire. You want to strip the wire back just long enough where it will be able to insert into the metal terminal connector. then you're going to need one male and one female MC4 connector. This is where some people get a little bit confused. For the male MC4 connector, you need the female terminal. So these are your terminals. This is the female terminal. The female terminal is used for the male MC4 connector. This is the male terminal. It's used for the female terminal connector. It's the opposite of what you might think. Now, sometimes people ask which one of these connectors they use for the positive and negative. And the answer to that question is it depends. If you're coming out of a solar panel, the positive line of the solar panel is gonna have this connector. So that means if you're making a positive extension cable, you're gonna start with a female connector and end with a male connector. So the first step in making the MC4 connector is to put the metal terminal on. And we're gonna make the male in first, so we're gonna start with the female connector. We're gonna need our MC4 crimp connector for this. And I find it is easier sometimes to put the connector in first and just put a little pressure to hold it. Then I just slide it in and then crimp. And that's all there is to that. Then you take your male terminal connector and you have to disassemble it first, or your male MC4 connector. Pay attention to how the internal gasket goes. You wanna put this part back on correctly. The first thing that we wanna do is go ahead and put these over the wire first. It's not gonna be a big deal since there's no end on this one, but if you've already got one end assembled, if you forget to do this step, you're going to have to end up cutting off the connector and wasting one and starting over. So you put your connectors on, put your gasket on, and we have a female metal terminal connector here, so it's for the male end. So that's going to go on, and we're going to wait for it to click. There. Sometimes that part can be a little tricky. I've had a few terminals that, a few of these connectors that just don't want to click in. But then you want to do the pull test. Okay, after you have it in, slide the gasket back in, and then screw on the, the uh, MC4 connector cap. On these wrenches, you're going to see some teeth. These teeth are used for when you're trying to disconnect cables from one another. 
So when you put this on here to turn this nut, I always put the teeth out so they don't get in the way. And the reason why is because I'm gonna take the second one, put it on over here, and this way they're not running into each other, and then turn. I like to turn until there's three clicks. That's just my personal preference. It tells me when it's done. After that, you move on to the second side. This will be the female side. The female side is gonna need the male metal terminal connector. So we disassemble it like we did before, paying attention to how it comes apart. This is when you have to make sure that you remember to put these on first, because otherwise you're gonna be in trouble. If you get this all the way on, a lot of times to rip these things back off, it's going to cause some damage. So put these on first. So the next thing you want to do is get your crimp connector. Take your male terminal, because we're doing a female MC4 connector. Get it in a position. Then take your MC4 connector, push it on, wait for the click. There it was. Made a nice click that time. Get your gasket in. Your nut on there. Repeat the process that we did before. Then we have one, what would be considered an extension cable. So if you were connecting this directly to a solar panel, the solar panel is gonna have this end coming off, so you'd be connecting this end. And when you get all the way to the other end, it continues with the male side. So let's pretend here we have a male connector coming from a solar panel. All you have to do, put it right on. Sometimes these things are easy to disconnect just by pushing the connectors on and take them apart. But sometimes that's what these are for. Just makes it a little easier. So let's pretend we have a negative cable coming from the solar panel. And the only thing you have is a red positive extension cable. You can still use this. It's just gonna be in reverse. It's still gonna be the female side coming from the cable even though it's a red cable. The color is just simply there to help identify these wires. But essentially this wire could be whatever color you want. It doesn't really matter. All that matters is that the connections are done correctly. I'm not sure what I'll use these for, but I'm sure I'll find something. So I hope this video is useful. I hope this answered some questions about MC4 connectors. These are common questions that I get from people. I'll put links to all the tools I use in the description. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it informative. And if you liked it, please subscribe, like, share, and help me grow this channel. My channel's brand new and I've got a long way to go. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you soon.